Welcome to the site of the Seattle Bowl for what looks to be an exciting college football game. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the Buffalo Bulls and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. And here come the Demon Deacons. Hi, everybody, and welcome to what looks to be an exciting bowl game. I'm Brad Nessler, along with my partners Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, ready to bring you all of the intense football action. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. Wake Forest has been a little suspect at times this year against the run, and the challenge for them will be to slow down this running attack and this running back. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't think they have the personnel to do it. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Wake Forest is set to have a terrible game offensively. I think they're going to turn the ball over three, maybe four times against this talented defense, and I think they're going to lose this ball game, Kirk. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. Buffalo has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 30 fields it at the 7. They'll take over at the 25. Wake Forest lines up with three receivers. Number 11 hands off right side. Spins up field. Tries to juke. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. And a first down for the running back. It's a big first down for this offense. Now maybe it'll take some of the pressure off the quarterback. It's first and 10, ball on their own 39. The Demon Deacons line up with three wide. Sheds that one. Number 29 brings him down at the 48-yard line. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second and one coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Wake Forest comes out with an eye formation. Set. Put hot. Put hot. He's looking for his man. Number 21 makes the catch, and they make the stop at the 33-yard line. A good pickup on the play-action pass. First and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. Number 18, alone in the backfield. Set. Cut. Cut. Throws a stiff arm. Number 23 with a takedown at the 21-yard line. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. It's first and 10. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Wake Forest comes to the line with three wide. Rifles it over the middle. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Second and 10. Ball on the 21. Wake Forest lines up with three receivers. And it's caught, and he's stopped behind the line. A four-yard loss. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. High formation here. 
Number 11 drops back. Here comes the pressure. Complete. Fourth down, Coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. Fourth down and nine. Ball on the 20. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And he missed it to the right. They'll start this drive at the 20. Buffalo comes out with two tight ends. Number four on the handoff. They'll bring him down at the 21. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. He's under pressure. He's rolling right. And it's caught. Number 22 brings him down at the 46. And a big catch by the tight end. Yeah, that was big. And I'll tell you what, that tight end can really move. That play deserves another look, guys. Well, this is a great fake right here. Really makes the defense bite up. Anytime you get a good fake like that and the pocket holds, you're going to be able to come up with a big gain like they did right here. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. The bull set up in the gun. Number seven drops to throw. Complete. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That ball was thrown high. Yeah, but this receiver knew he could jump up and get it. Great play. Second down and 12. Ball on the 44-yard line. They line up in an eye. Number seven hands off to the left. He jukes him. And down he goes at the 46. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Third down and 10 coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Demon Deacon line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. Rolls right. Number 20 has it brought down at the 35-yard line. And they get the first down. That is unbelievable. Wow, Kirk, this quarterback showing some big-time nerves out there. Third long, it's just like first and 10 to this guy. Yeah, you're right. A lot of poise from this young man. First and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number 28 lines up as a single back. Number seven steps back to pass. Looking, steps up in the pocket. Under heavy pressure. Gets past the tackler. Number 45 comes away with a sack. He grabbed a hold of the quarterback and would not let go. Well, he's able to slip right through a crack in the line and get a big sack. Second down and 14. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Nickel defense. He drops back. He's in trouble. And it falls incomplete. Well, he missed his receiver there, coach. Yo, this kid needs to relax a little bit more. That ball's coming out 100 miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. Third and 14. This is the eighth play of this drive. 
the Demon Deacon. Bring in the nickel package. He lets it go, and it's knocked down. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Fourth and 14, ball on the 39. Buffalo sets up with four receivers, throws it out there, and it's incomplete. They took a gamble, but they lost. Well, that gamble could really end up hurting him because if the opposing offense scores, then everybody is going to be pointing the fingers at that old coach. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line. Three wideouts here. Number 11 drops back to pass. He's looking. Let's it fly. And it's caught. Number 89 steps out of bounds at the 44-yard line. They gained five yards there. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Buffalo lines up with five defensive backs. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. They gained five yards there. It's third and inches. Ball on the 49. Wake Forest sets up in the eye. They hand it off. Number 29 with a takedown at the 48. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. They'll bring in their dime package. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. Nothing gained on the play. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Demon Deacon. Line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. He throws it. Complete. He's at the 40. Number 29 brings him down at the 34. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First and 10. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. On the ground, up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. About five yards there on the fullback carry. Second down and five. Ball on the 29. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. He passes it, and it's caught. This tackle. Number 56 with a takedown at the 28-yard line. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. We are ready to start quarter number two. Third and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. Buffalo comes out in a 4-3. Number 11 running the option. There's a flag down. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Holding, Holding on the offense. On the offense. The Fourth and one. They're in field goal range. They need a conversion here. Hand off up the middle. 
And they make the stop at the 17. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. It's first and 10, ball on the 17-yard line. The Bull line up in a 4-3. Let's it go. Number 18 with a catch. They couldn't get much out of that one. I loved how that defense just swarmed their ball the second it was thrown. A second down and seven to go. 11th play of this drive coming up. High formation here. Here's a counter play. He jukes. And down he goes at the one. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. Not much trouble getting in on that one. Yeah, the running back just ran right through the opening, almost like a truck driving down the highway. Watch out. And he tacks on the extra point. Over six minutes remain here in the second quarter. And the score, Wake Forest, seven, Buffalo, nothing. Wake Forest to kick, number 84 and number 81. Back deep to return, kicks it off. Number 84, fields it at the seventh, flag on the play. Holding, Holding. on the receiving, on the receiving team. team. Ten yard penalty, first down. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Wake Forest lines up in a dime defense here. Number seven gives it up the middle. Tackle at the 21. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21. Going with the shotgun here. Number seven, back to throw. He unloads it. Complete, and they make the stop at the 36-yard line. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Buffalo comes out in the shotgun. Number seven. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking for his man. And he drops it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36. Four wide. Number seven drops to throw. Looks under pressure. He lets it go. Number 24 brings him down at the 45. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his route. 
you got to jam him at the line and throw their timing on. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 45. They line up in an eye. And he's tackled at the 48. A gain of three yards by the fullback. It's first and ten. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. Number 14 with a takedown at the 41-yard line. Let's see the replay on that run. First and ten. Seventh play of this drive coming up. The Demon Deacon. Use a four-man front here. Drive back to pass. He steps up, guns it across the middle. Batted away. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. They hand it off. He's at the 30, inside the 20. Number 22 brings him down at the 14-yard line. Wow, that was a heck of a run. Boy, I think this tailback was eyeing the end zone there and forgot to worry about everything else. I think he thought he had six. Yeah, I disagree with you. I think that was a big-time run. First and 10. They're threatening inside the 20. 4-3 defense. He drops back. He lobs it out to the left side. Number 54 brings him down for a loss. Loss of about two. It's second down and 12 to go. Tenth play of this drive coming up. Wake Forest comes out in a 4-3. Back to pass. Throws it out there, and he can't make the catch. Third down and 12 to go. 11th play of this drive coming up. Buffalo in a five wide set. Drop back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's knocked down. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Fourth and 12 coming up. Ball on the 16-yard line. Number five is lined up for the kick. The kick is up. And it's wide right. No good. Get the ball here at the 20. The Bulls come out in a 34 defense. They run a counter. He spins around. They'll throw the flag. Number two with a takedown at the 30 yard line. We've got an inner in mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yard
First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. They come out with four linebackers. And he's taken down at the 39. He rumbles for about four yards on that draw play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Four three defense. Cut. Cut, cut. Cut. Number four brings him down for a loss. That's a designed quarterback run. Here the defense does a great job of getting penetration and tackling him for a loss. They're down in seven. Ball on their own 38. They come out in a nickel. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. He spins. Brought down at the 39-yard line. The Bulls call for a timeout. And they'll have two remaining. It's fourth down and six yards to go. Ball on the 39. Wake Forest lining up the punt. Number 84 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 25-yard line. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. The Demon Deacon bring in the nickel package. Number seven steps back to pass. Rifles this one out to the left, and it's caught. Number 20 brings him down at the 48-yard line. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Ah, uh, rub some dirt on it, kid. Get back in the game where you belong. First and 10, ball on the 48. The Bulls line up with five receivers. He throws it. Oh, he got nailed on that one. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. The offense calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. The second down and two to go. Ball on the 44. The Bulls come out in a shotgun. Number seven drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He wants it all going long. Complete number 24 with a takedown at the 19. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Number seven back to throw. He passes it. And that one's fallen incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Back to pass. Let's it go. Number 88 hangs on to it. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. That was quite a play as he found his wide receiver for the touchdown.
And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter. And our score is Buffalo 7, Wake Forest 7. Buffalo ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 84 takes it at the four. They'll start this drive at the 27. The Bulls line up in a 3 4. Here's an option right side. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. This is a heads up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get go. Good defensive play. He drops back. He rifles it to the left. And it's incomplete. Third down and 12. Ball on the 25. Wake Forest sets up in the eye. Number 11, hands off to the left. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. Wake Forest will be kicking off to start the second half. We should have a return on this one. Number 84 fields it at the seven. First and ten, all on their own 30. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Number 45 tackles him for a loss on the play. How about that stop? I right hear the linebacker uses his speed to come up with a huge stop behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11, ball in the 29. Buffalo lines up in a shotgun set. He's hit and got away. Tackle at the 38, gain of nine. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 38. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. And a big run on third down. Good job there by the offensive line, allowing the run to get some good yardage. Lee, as you know, anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 46. 
Number 28, alone in the backfield. Number 7, gives it up the middle. Number 90, brings him down for a loss. Good play there by the defensive end to wrap him up for a loss. Second and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Bulls line up with four wideouts. Number seven gives it up the middle. Sheds a tackler. Number 46 brings him down at the 49. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. It's third down and five to go. Ball right around midfield. Wake Forest lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number seven drops back. He's looking for his man. It's dropped. Fourth and five coming up here. Ball on the 49. They line up to punt this one away. Number 84 signals for a fair catch. They'll go to work at the 13. The Demon Deacons come out showing three wide. Number 11 hands off to the left. Juke move. Number four with a takedown at the 20. About seven yards on that carry. Second and three. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. The option left. Takes a pitch. He laterals the ball. Number four. Brings him down at the 22-yard line. Gain of two. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 22. Wake Forest sets up in the eye. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 43. And that run will give him 100 for the game. The old head coach has to be happy with the running game today. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. The Bulls bring in their dime package. Number 41 tackles him for a loss on the play. Couldn't get anything out of that. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Bulls line up with six defensive backs. Tackle at the 46-yard line. A pickup of about three. It's third down and seven to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Going with the shotgun here. Number 11, back to pass. He lets it go, and he can't make the catch. Fourth and seven, ball on the 46-yard line. 
So they're set to punt this one away. Number 84 calls for the fair catch. First and 10, ball on the 25. Four three defense. Back to pass. Throws it out there. And it's caught to the 40. Can't wrap him up. And they finally bring him down at the 47. That play looked like it could have gone the distance. Let me tell you, they were very fortunate that that one wasn't taken in for the score. They had a guy coming on the blitz that time, and that quarterback read this play perfectly and ate him up. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. Wake Forest brings in the nickel here. Back to pass. Looking. Let's it fly. Complete. Number 46 with a takedown at the 32-yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his route. You got to jam him at the line and throw their timing on. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Demon Deacons bring in the nickel package. Number seven drops to throw. He throws it, and it's caught. It's first and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. The Bull line up with two tight ends. He's hit and got away. Number 34 brings him down at the 10-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Number 28 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Number 92 brings him down for a loss. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Now it's third and nine coming up. Sixth play of this drive coming up. They come out in a five wide set. Number seven, drop back to pass. Fires across the middle, and that one's fallen incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. Fourth down and nine, ball on the 11. Number five, lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. It's up, and it sails through the upright. Buffalo to kick. Kicks it off. Number 84 takes it at the 16. They'll get the ball here at the 32 yard line. The Bulls line up in a nickel back. Number 11, back to throw. He passes it. Tipped away. That one could have been an interception. Second and 10, ball on their own 32. 
Wake Forest lines up in a shotgun set. Number 11 steps back to pass. Let's it go. Number 89 makes a catch. A couple of yards there. Third and eight. Ball on their own 34. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Buffalo 10, Wake Forest 7. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Number 11, back to pass. He's looking. He unloads it. Complete. And he's tackled at the 44. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and 10, ball on the 44. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Number 11 drops back, looks, gives a little pump fake. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. Number 29 with a takedown at the 34. They'll grab 10 yards there. It's first and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Wake Forest comes out in the shotgun. Off, up the middle. Shakes off a tackle. Number four brings him down at the 17-yard line. And with that run, this young man has gone over 1,500 yards on the year. Guys, I'm glad I'm up here instead of down there trying to tackle that kid. He's a handful. Let's take another look at that run. First and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Buffalo lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 11 options out. Laterals back. Number 56 with a takedown at the 14. The tailback picks up about three yards on the option play. Second and seven coming up here. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Wake Forest comes out with an eye formation. Number 11 on the option. He fakes a pitch. Touchdown, Demon Deacon. That was a beautiful run by the quarterback. It really was. Hard to believe this guy's playing quarterback and not running back. He really can tote it. Let's take another look at the option. Yo, this kid is a master of that option game. Look at that run, guys. That was beautiful. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Wake Forest, 14, Buffalo, 10. Wake Forest lines up for the kickoff. Number 84 and number 81 set to return. Here's the kick. Number 81 fields it at the nine. They'll take over at the 19. Number 28 alone in the backfield. Uh, 
On the ground, up the middle. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Number 45 brings him down at the 25-yard line. Six-yard pickup. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Demon Deacon bring in the nickel package. He drops back. He lets it go. It falls incomplete. It's third down and four to go. Ball on their own 25. Number seven is back in the gun. Number seven drops back to pass. Swatted away. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Fourth and four. Ball on their own 25. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 84. Fields it at the 38. Came away with a nice return there, Lee Corso. Oh, Nelly. That was almost a big one, my friend. Start this drive at the 48 yard line. Wake Forest lines up with three receivers. Throws it out there. Number 18 has it. He dove for that one. You know, guys, that takes a lot of concentration to stretch out like that and make the catch. Second down and five. Ball on the 47 yard line. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. He stiff arm. And down he goes at the 45. They'll get two on that one. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 45. They're lining up in the 5-2. Number 18, the ball carrier. There's a missed tackle. Inside the 30. Number 12 with a takedown at the 13. And that had big play written all over it. Woo, did it ever. Great looking run by the big man. You're right, Kirk. That was a huge play. First and 10, they're in the red zone. Buffalo comes out in a 3-4. Number 11 drops to throw. Looking. And he's going to come up with a sack. They put the pressure on, and it paid off. Well, his protection just simply broke down. And if that continues, this quarterback's going to have a long day. Second and ten. Ball on the 13. The Bulls line up in a 4-3. Number 11 running the option. And they make the stop at the 13-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third down and 10 coming up. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Number 18 lines up as a single back. Number 11 back to throw. Let's it fly. 
And he's got it for the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. the PAT. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter and the score is Wake Forest 21, Buffalo 10. Wake Forest to kick this one off. Number 84 and number 81 back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 84 fields it at the 11. They'll go to work at the 28 yard line. The Bulls come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Bat it away. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Wake Forest lines up in a dime defense here. Number seven steps back to pass. He's looking. They'll make the sack. He just broke free on that one. Oh, I feel sorry for that young kid. Those big bullies are coming at you 200 miles an hour. That's scary, my friend. Number seven back to pass. Complete. And they hit him in the backfield. That's a loss of about three. Number seven drops back. He throws it, and it falls incomplete. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big-time plays. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Wake Forest comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He passes it, and it's caught. He's inside the 10. Number 12 brings him down at the three-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw him practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off, and your players execute in the game like they did all week in practice. Good job. They put everyone up on the line. Hot. 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 They hand it off. And he's got the touchdown. Second touchdown there by the running back. And you could tell he really wanted to get in on that one. Yeah, he showed a lot of determination and heart on that run. That's a nice touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Wake Forest 28, Buffalo 10. Wake Forest lines up for the kickoff. Number 84 and number 81 deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 81 fields it at the 7. The 40. 
Nice yardage on that run back. And you know what, Brad? Special teams are so often overlooked. A return like this not only gives you good field position, but also some big-time momentum. Let's check out the replay. They'll get the ball here at the 48. The defense lines up with six DBs. He drops back. Looks. He guns it to the right. Complete. Number 10 with a takedown at the 31. And they beat the blitz that time and came away with a nice play. Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. Back to pass. Let's it go. And it's caught, and they'll score. What do you think of that catch, Coach? This game's got its highs and lows, but one of the highs has got to be the play of this kid. He could play for my team any day. Let's take another look at that touchdown pass. Guys, this is a great example of a quarterback with great awareness. Does a good job of scanning the field and getting it to the right target. Nice touchdown. There's a play fake. He unloads it, and it's knocked away. The linebacker got a hand on it that time. Yeah, they were looking at six points if he hadn't got a hand in there to break that one up. And it looks like they're going to try an onside kick here. With the onside kick. And now things have gotten a little more interesting. Brad, this one's not over yet. Watch out now because the momentum has completely shifted. They'll take over at the 45. Buffalo lines up for the shotgun set. Number seven drops back to pass. He fires left side. Number 81 with a catch. Brought down at the 32. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. Number seven drops the throw. And they got him. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. Drops back to pass. Complete. Loose football. Offense falls on it. And he's tackled at the 25. And so the offense will hang on to the ball. What was that tight end thinking? He can't keep making mistakes like that. And next time, they're not going to be so lucky. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Buffalo comes out in the shotgun. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. Breaks one. Number 10 brings him down at the 12-yard line. Pretty good gain right there. You know, the thing that impresses me about this offense is their ability to spread the ball around. They're not afraid to go to their tight ends, their tailbacks, and in this case, their fullback. Nicely designed play. Spin move. Number 45 brings him down for a loss. They lose four there. He drops back, fakes the spike, looking to throw it. He guns it to the left. He's got a touchdown. And that's a second time today these guys have been able to hook up for the score. Boy, he really looks couple in that end zone, doesn't he? Let's see that touchdown pass again. Good job by the quarterback here to find the open man in the end zone. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Buffalo 23, Wake Forest 28.
Buffalo is lining up for the onside kick here. Here's the onside kick. And they could not recover the onside kick. Well, it's a nice job there by the return team to recover the football. Now they just want to run the clock out. They'll start this drive at the 45. Buffalo lines up defensively in a 3-4. The Bulls are going to take a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Second down and 12. Ball on the 47. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Buffalo brings in the nickel here. And that's the end of the game. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Buffalo played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2003. We hope you join us again. Our final score, Wake Forest 28, Buffalo 23. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.